hi guys you are welcome to my channel it's another friday for an amazing recipe if you want to know how i prepare this delicious eggplant sauce that is what we call jakatu in cameroon keep watching and please do not forget to give this video a thumbs up four eggplants and you might think this is actually much but trust me once you boil this everything kind of shrinks and I couldn't lay my hands on the ones we normally use in Cameroon and trust me if you can't find that just go with this it still works well and I'll be using six tomatoes one medium size onion i love using this red onion because it gives like some added flavor to it and i'll be adding two spring onions one hibernaro pepper for some heat if you don't like heat you can skip that it's totally optional and i'll be using three seasoning cubes have a teaspoon of salt i use less salt and more maggi in my food so if you love salt you can add that just add your seasonings according to your taste guys i have here yeah, have a cup of crayfish this is a must this gives it some additional taste i have here yeah, a cup of vegetable oil have a cup of palm oil which is totally optional and yeah i have in cameroon we call it strong and that i don't know the english name of it i'm going to check and leave it somewhere up so i'll be using this quantity and some dry meat so i have my pot here already the first thing you want to do is to boil your eggplants for 20 minutes i'm just going to place them in my pot okay so i'll add in some water this is four cups of water i'm going to add in about half a teaspoon of salt So I'll just let this boil for 20 minutes while I prep the other ingredients. Our eggplants cooked for 20 minutes. All I did was to drain the water, take off the eggplants from the pot immediately, and I'm going to peel, try to peel off the skin while it's still hot. When it gets cold, it the peeling process becomes difficult. So I have a bowl of water here. If it's too hot, I'm just going to put my hands in it look at that i don't know if you can see that look at how easy i can suck so you really have to be fast with it so that it doesn't get cold These are our eggplants peeled. What I'm going to do next is to try and take off some of the seeds. If 
if you like it with the seeds that's fine it's all up to you i don't like it with like too much seeds in it that's why i always try to take out as much as i can look at that guys so what you have to do next is to use your potato masher and just mash that okay all done so i'm going to add in my palm oil and i'll let that heat up for about 50 seconds and now i'll add in my vegetable oil start by frying my onion fry your onion for about one to two minutes depending on your heat i'm frying mine on medium heat and that's good right now i'm going to add in my chopped tomatoes and give it a nice stir and i'm going to fry this for about 10 minutes so i have fried my tomatoes for 10 minutes What I'm going to do next is to add my chopped spring onion. I'm going to add my pepper, my dry fish, and my smoked meat. I'm going to mix this up. And I'll be adding my salt right away with my seasoning cubes. So just mix everything up and paste for your salt and maggi. And don't forget that you still have to add your free fish too your sauce so guys right now i'm going to let this cook for another 10 minutes or cover it up and let it cook for another 10 minutes because of the meat and the fish though i already boiled the meat but still you need to let it cook and get soaked just go ahead and add your crayfish Stir fry for another one minute. And right now we are going to add our almighty eggplant. Guys, I'm thinking that my pan might be small, but I'm just going to add this. If it's small, then I'll transfer it to a bigger pot. So you have to add little by little and mix. I'm going to add in another batch and mix. And now our last batch. So I'm going to mix this up and let it fry for 5 minutes. Remember we already boiled our eggplant so you don't need to overcook it again. Just 5 minutes so that the sauce and the eggplant should get married, it should be well like marinated 
and you are good to go. So guys, make sure you keep stirring this up. Look at that deliciousness. You can have this with some boy plantain, some boy yam. You can have it with fufu. <laughs> you can have it with some fufu corn. I don't know if they eat this with rice. You can also have it as it is. Yep. But right now I'm having mine with some plantains. I already boiled my plantains. You can have it, I forgot to mention, you can have it with some sweet potatoes, you can have it with some cocoa yam, you can have it with anything chewable. So, food is ready, guys. I'm just going to turn off my heat and wrap my plate. I'll try that with some plantain. The taste from the fish and the dry meat makes it beyond this world. It's so yummy, yummy, guys. And the fact that you boil the eggplants with the skin on it gives you that eggplant flavor. It Remember I told you if you can't find the ones that you use in Cameroon, or in Africa just go with this one it tastes exact so just try this recipe and let me know the outcome and if you liked this video please do not forget to give it a thumbs up comment and share with friends and family and I hope to see you all in my next video guys I'm hungry let me go and eat bye